السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ وصلاۃ والسلام علی رسول اللہ ویلکم ٹو دس کنونشن ینگ مسلمس برادرز اینڈ سسٹرس آئی سی الاٹ آف ینگ مسلمس اینڈ آئی آلسو سی الاٹ آف ینگ مسلمس ایٹ ہارٹ ان دس گیدرنگ ڈیفینیٹلی وی آر آل ہیئر ٹو انجوائے فرام دا کنونشن فرام لرن فرام آور اسپیکرز اینڈ اسکالرس اینڈ آئی انکریج آل آف اس ٹو benefit from this time, from your presence here in these two and a half days. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept all the efforts and accept the efforts of all volunteers who have put tremendous amount of time. They gave their time and energies and sacrifices from their families so that we can have a wonderful uh, program and wonderful convention. I have only a few minutes and then inshallah we will learn from our um, Uh, Ustad and scholars. But there are a few things that I just wanted to share with you as um, not just as president of ICNA, but also as, um, as an elder, as um, I have also my children in this gathering, so as a father and as your uncle. You are young Muslims of America, and you have a very distinct yet challenging identity. You are young Muslims of America who have to learn from a combined history of over 1,600 years, history of Islam and history of America. So it's a great challenge for you, combining both and learning so that you can perform at the highest level in the society. Be like Ali, who was very young and weak, but he stood up when he understood what is the truth and what is the right. Be courageous like him and never shy away from standing up for justice and for the truth. Be like Yasser or Mosab or Ibn Omar, Ibn Abbas or Ibn Mas'ud. They are the great scholars of Islam. So learn from them, learn from their life and do your best to follow in their footsteps and seek the best for yourself. Do not settle for less. You have great opportunities ahead of you. You have great leadership that you can offer, not just to the Muslim community, but the the larger community that we see around us. And you have the potential to be in that position. Take good care of your salah. While we are at this conference, prayer hall is right there. But many times we are walking around in the hall, in the hotel, in the bazaar, helping, enjoying time with our friends. But at the same time, I remind you that do not miss your salah, take good care of your salah, establish it in your life, and also encourage among your friends and family members. Watch your gaze. I remind all of us that this is a gathering where brothers and sisters are all together. We are passing through bazaar, we are in hallways, we are seeing each other in the elevators and all of those areas, common places. So I remind all of us that be watchful of our gaze. It is a responsibility as Muslims upon us that we respect other uh, brothers and sisters and, and offer them enough room as they can also enjoy this conference. Respect your parents. I know if I ask you how many of you love your parents, all of you will say we love our parents. But translate that love into an action. And you all know that paradise lies under the feet of your mother. So mothers are the most important thing. You know, take good care of them. And ask those, or ask, you know, some of us who have lost our mothers, they are not lo no longer living in this world. But that is the thing that you will miss the most if they are not with you. So while they are with you, your parents, you know, offer your humbleness to them, respect them, and honor them. If I ask how many of you are a member of YM, let's uh, raise your hand and let me see how many of you are active member of YM or attend YM neighborness, brothers and sisters both. And I see there are a few hands. But this conference is one of the things that YM is doing, this convention. And YM is organizing similar programs in many other cities, in many other regions. So I encourage you all to take part in YM, not just coming to a conference for a few hours listening to lectures and then leaving. What will happen is that we will remember a few good things for, for some time. But later on, if you are not active, if you are not engaged, if you are not involved in Islamic work, 
we will miss all of that. So I encourage all of you, those of you who are not member of YM, be a member of YM. YM booth is right there. Fill out a form, become a member, join YM NeighborNets, and that, inshallah, will be the best thing that you will get from this conference. Engage, join, be active, participate in these activities. There are many challenges, my brothers and sisters, young brothers and sisters, that we can talk about. There is the challenge of Islamophobia, and there is also an inner challenge of extremism that we all see sometimes presented in a, in a large, greater extent on the TV or in the media, but we know what is the reality in the community. And the best way to handle that is by spreading knowledge, by offering this balanced deen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. So offer this balanced deen to our brothers and sisters so that we can challenge the ideas of extremism and extremist ideologies. Islam is, is a faith which is a balanced faith. We are an ummah, ummatun wasata. So provide that balance from our life and as a Muslim community as a whole. And lastly, I will leave you with all the things that you hear, all the talk against Islam or whatever is happening. So it's Iqbal, a great poet, once said that in, in Urdu, I'm not going to say, but many of you probably will not understand, but to translate it in a very broken English, which will be that fear not the speed of the opposing wind. Fear not the speed of the opposing wind. It blows to help you fly high. So fly high, my young brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.